Check it. Alright guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. Guys, you want to watch this whole update. This video is about AMC, SPY, and GME. We're going to be looking at the meme stocks in the overall market, give you guys a prediction and update on where things are, things are headed. We're also going to be looking at the bars pattern that I am looking at now. We're going to be looking at a couple fractals and fractal and bars pattern analysis. So with that being said, this video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. And the market is closed Monday. The market is closed Monday, so you want to watch the videos I'm about to be dropping over the next couple of days because they are going to be predictions for the weekly candles. I'm going to do my weekly prediction and update video, and then I'm also going to be doing the bars pattern and fractal analysis in a deeper dive. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them in this video. I'm also going to do a price bracket and price target video. I'm going to talk about all of this and more over the weekend, so you want to watch the videos that I will be dropping over this weekend. With that being said, let's go and hop in the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC stock, GME stock. We'll quickly look at BBYQ. We're also going to be looking at SPY in the overall stock market. This is going to be your update for the rest of the day after hours, where I think it's going to be headed. And then over the weekend, I will be dropping my weekly update and prediction, so make sure you guys check that out. We're also going to be looking at a new theory with a possible bars pattern that I am looking at, a possible bars pattern that we're looking at. So we're going to look at that as well. And we're going to start looking at this in more in these next couple of updates. So make sure you guys check this out as we do dive deeper and deeper and see what we are looking at. So this is what I am looking at so far. We do have two possible theories here, two possible theories here on where we are at. So I'm going to be looking at all of this and more over the weekend. Again, thank you guys for all of the love during my birthday, all of the love during my birthday. The birthday stream was absolutely awesome, dude. Rocked out. It was one of the best streams I've ever had. And this is one of the best birthdays I've ever had. So, guys, thank you guys so much for all of the birthday loves, the super chats, and everything. I cannot thank you guys enough from the bottom of my heart. With that being said, let's go and hop into video. This video is not financial advice. It should not be taken as such. Please do your own research and due diligence before buying any stock or crypto asset. Now, as you guys can see, let's go ahead and hop right in with SPY. We're going to first look at SPY, show you guys what's going on with SPY. So SPY had this bullish megaphone hitting 449, which was the price target for the day, hitting 449 multiple times throughout the day. Then in the Discord, I warned of SPY getting a reversal and pushing back to the upside, which is exactly what it did, pushing back to the upside. But I do think SPY is going to be retesting this overall bull flag or bear flag that it's in, this bearish channel that you guys see here, this bearish ascending channel that you guys see. I think it's going to be retesting it, which it possibly have done already with this wick. It might even be move upping and move up and retest four, five, two. But once it retests this as resistance, I think it's going to move back to the downside. I did say this was a bear trap and we did make plenty uh, or a bull trap and we did make plenty of money on it in the Discord. A couple people dropped a couple wins and I did put those wins up in the Discord and they did as well. And we posted some of those on the channel as well. But basically, I think we're going to hook back around, retesting this as resistance, confirming it as resistance, and move to the downside. I think SPY is about to get its overall capitulation down. And again, on the bigger time frames, I do think SPY is going to be seeing a market crash. I do think this is going to be starting in September and October. It is the month of September, so this is going to be starting later this month and into October. I do think we're going to start seeing the market overall start to crack fold and start to capitulate to the downside but this is what i'm looking at for spy so far again check out the next prediction for my weekly prediction update video for what i'm looking at over the next couple of days i do think spy is basically going to start fading out here in pre-market or in after hours maybe in pre-market on tuesday because the market is closed on monday get a pop to the upside before returning to the downside. If you go ahead and look at what economic data we have coming out on Wednesday, September the 6th, the same day as GameStop earnings, Wednesday, September the 6th, the same day as GameStop earnings, we do have ISM numbers coming out, which could push the market up or crash it. We will see, but expect volatility on that day. Now let's go ahead and move into the other stocks, show you guys what's going on with the meme stocks bitcoin seeing a little bit of pullback with tech seeing a little bit of pullback with tech pulled back down to about 25k and then got a reversal back to the upside the dollar is pushing up so this is going to have a uh, inverse effect on stocks basically when the dollar goes up things like bitcoin and s p 500 risk assets things like that go 
down and you can see the dollar has actually had a nice bounce to the upside off of this two dollar level and it's starting to push back to that um, off that 102 level and it's starting to push back to 104 and this is going to have an inverse effect on the market which i do think we're going to see an overall market uh start to pull back um, and top out around these ranges. I think it's starting to top out now and it's going to start pulling back coming back down to the downside filling these gaps down here. The market does have a gap gap fills to the downside on the daily time frame and on the uh, hourly time frame. There's a gap down here at 4 139 on the hourly time frame. As you guys can see, we're on the 2 hour time frame and right here is your gap. Right here you guys can see it in between these two purple lines. So this one I'm looking at for S and P 500, I do think it's going to start pulling back, come back down to the downside, and start filling this gap. In my personal opinion, now let's go ahead and look at AMC stock. I want to show you guys something interesting going on with AMC. So first thing, they are saving a bunch of short shares. Okay, they're saving a bunch of short shares. I think AMC and GameStop are about to see a major rally. Okay, so this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm looking at. GameStop off bat. Okay, GameStop off rip is going to start rallying in the earnings. I think Tuesday is going to be a green day for GameStop. I did call a red day today for GameStop. And you guys can see we had all these green days in a row. On the Discord, I called out the bottom, getting everyone in, and we profited all week long. Then I, um, on the Discord, gave out the sell signal, letting everyone know that it was time to take profits. Guess what? We took profits right at the top, and I was able to reposition myself again in the, in the GameStop so sell off some shares, sell off, take profit, and get some more GameStop to get back in because I do think we're going to see another move to the upside over the next couple of weeks. Also, I now have some profit of cash that is getting ready to get settled, which I can then buy AMC next week. So next week, I'll have uh, money to average down on AMC because of the cash selling from these GameStop profits. Do you see how I take profits and roll it into these larger swing positions, which enables, which allows me to use house money to build these more risky positions? Now, me personally, I am holding SQQQ in case the market crashes, then I'll be absolutely eating. I'm holding AMC and GME, and I'm using house money to build these positions. Let's go ahead and look. At what's going on with amc again i do think gamestop is going to get a recovery next week and start moving back to the upside having a rally into earnings so i do think it's going to rally into earnings then possibly on earnings have a pop up in after hours then the day after earnings get a little bit of a pullback finding a bottom we'll see where it finds the bottom but it's going to start pulling back after earnings and then move back to the upside i do think in the next two to three weeks gamestop will be at about 25 to thirty dollars not financial advice let's go ahead and look at amc amc stock so amc stock you can see that the macd on the daily time frame starting to curl to the upside you guys can see that we have a gap fill here and a gap fill here multiple gap fills to the upside so this would make sense for amc to play this out and we're going to explain it here in a minute let's go ahead and look at the data for amc so we have cost of borrow sitting at 10 percent cost of borrow sitting at 10 percent AMC short interest is at 29.24%. We are still on the threshold security list as of 831. We do not have today's data yet. And today is my birthday, September 1st. Thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes. And I am working on a new fractal from the January 2021 squeeze overlapped over today's price action. So if you guys see, they are saving up a bunch of short shares. I've been saying over the streams, I've been saying they are setting something up. There's something is is bubbling something is brewing and people can sense it you guys can see that they're holding these shares for a reason why because i think we're about to have a major rally to the upside for a m c so you guys can see that the bollinger bands are constricting letting us know volatility is coming you guys can see that we found a bottom we pushed up and this is a very similar fractal if you guys remember the moas roadmap if you guys remember the moas roadmap when we had a rally to the upside then you guys come down then you get this U shape. You get this U shape, and then you push up and consolidate. If you remember the MOAS roadmap, this looks very, very similar. I know it's hard to see with all of the indicators and stuff on it and all of the drawings and stuff like that, but it's very, very similar to what the MOAS roadmap looked like. It literally looks like the fractal that the MOAS roadmap was made out of. And besides that, we also see a similar fractal from the January 2021 squeeze. You guys can see this is from the run-up from January 2021. So you guys can see that you push up, 
and then you have a three peak top before consolidating and then getting an overall rally to the upside. If you go ahead and overlay this price action over today's price action right now, you guys can see that it is eerily, eerily similar to what we are seeing right now as we speak. So you guys can see that this is very, very similar to what we are seeing right now with the price action we're seeing. And this would have us come back up and fill the gaps, okay? So this is only half the fractal. It actually goes much, much higher than this. And that would actually have us come up and fill the gaps on AMC. So that would actually bring us up to these levels of about $40. It goes a little bit higher. It would go to about 70. But that, and I'll get the rest of the fractal here over the weekend and get the map laid out and everything a lot better. So make sure you check out the videos that I drop over the weekend. But basically, that would take us back above to the gap fill. You guys can see that the MACD is starting to curl. We're already starting to get bullish MACD on the two hour time frame. You guys can see. Um, we got a bullish cross here and we're working on building a bullish base on the hourly time frame We already got the uh, MACD cross and we're working on building a bullish base to return back to the upside I do think we are gonna see a major push for AMC and GameStop stock And that is why they have all of these short shares to try to control it and keep it down and don't let things get too out of control If you guys can see the current price action that we are seeing right now is very similar to the January 2021 rally before we've seen a major run-up to the upside and again this is where it starts to lift off basically and i'll get the rest of the fractal but basically and i'll show you guys with the brush it comes back down just a little bit and then starts to take back off to the upside so guys this would absolutely have us filling that gap in this fractal looks like it's playing out again i will have more information and this would look like a overall inverse head and shoulders right here is your shoulder right here is your head and right here is your next shoulder taking us back to the upside and launching us into the stratosphere able to fill these gap fills to the upside so i do think we are going to see a major move from amc stock as it starts to push back to the upside and if you look this is basically what the fractal looks like from the january 21 21 squeeze you guys can see where i said you have this big rally up then you come to the downside hard then you have this u-shaped cup then you push up and then you come back down and consolidate before ripping to the upside if you go ahead and look at the price action right now what we're seeing right now it is very very similar you push up you come back down you make this u-shaped cup then you push back up and then you come back down and consolidate what happens after that you push up rally and squeeze guys amc has always been fractals amc has always been fractals always been patterns that repeat over and over and over again and now that the reverse split is in effect i do believe that i found the new positioning of where we are at with things and i think we're about to see a major squeeze a major rally to the upside not financial advice i'm going to try to get price targets and all that stuff i cannot tell you how high it's going to go i know some of you are probably going to be disappointed with the prices when they do come out but guys we have a serious factor of dilution and they have a lot of shares to control this thing now because of the reverse split. And I warned every other, everyone of this, they would have shares with dilution. They would be able to control any type of squeeze that would happen. And that's why they had to have the reverse split. We're going to see a controlled MOAS, which is, I, that's what I've been saying on the live streams over this past couple of weeks that this is what it's leading up to. And now that we have more and more price action, things are becoming more and more clear and it is a lot easier to see. But guys, this is pretty much everything I have for you for today. Make sure you check out my predictions over the weekend. I'm going to be doing a lot more predictions and updates over the weekend. I just wanted to get a quick video out there to get you guys updated and let you guys know what I'm working on. I will have a lot more stuff dropping over the weekend so again you do not want to miss these drops over the weekend it's going to be straight heat but guys i think something's brewing for amc and gme and then also i think the market is going to be pulling back and i'm positioned to make an absolute bag off of that hopefully you guys found this video informative if you did go ahead and drop a like press subscribe for more content like this and remember i have a discord that you can join a discord that you can join 50 dollars for a lifetime invite it's 50 dollars for a one-time fee that is where i give all of the drops all of the news all of the predictions all the buy signals all of the technical analysis and it's an exclusive community so if you want to join it go ahead and hit me up link down below is my email instagram and twitter follow me on there and hit me up on the email to ask about my discord just say hey i want to join the discord i will send you the payment information you pay and then i send you the link it's as easy as that i also have a membership you can join that is 2.99 a month that you can cancel at any time the membership helps me out because youtube ad revenue is not a lot and i also do members only content and i'm going to do things like members only streams and stuff like that for the members 
getting them more bang for their buck. But guys, if you found it uh, informative, all you have to do is simply drop a like, press subscribe, and leave a comment. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out. All right, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like. Press subscribe for more content like this. And remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Daily Zero updates. The Discord is $50 for a lifetime invite. I talk about stocks, cryptos, trades. I also put buy and sell signals and give market updates, which is a great tool to help people make money. And a lot of people are making money on the Discord, which I post on there and post on the YouTube as well. I also have a membership you can join that is $2.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. Also, I am working on the trading class. This will be available on the 4th. This will be available on the 4th. When the market opens next, we will be in the game. Monday the 4th, it will be available. And I'll talk about pricing and more on that day. With that being said, guys, if you want to support me for free, all you have to simply do is drop a like, leave a comment, press subscribe. And I appreciate each and every one of you, especially today because the birthday stream was awesome. I appreciate all the birthday wishes, all of the love. I could not ask for more. I have the best community. I have the absolute best community alive, dude. I have the best community. And I cannot thank you guys enough. You truly made today special. Each person that super chatted me, wished me happy birthday, all of the love. I truly, truly thank, thankful for it. And I'm truly grateful to be here, guys. So with that being said, as always, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.